we use the Panasonic G7 for our church live streams. That's the only camera that we use besides a small drum camera on stage. We have four of these and we're actually planning on picking more of them up here soon. So in this video, I wanna talk about how we came to picking these cameras as our main live stream camera and why we're gonna to continue to use them down the road. And of course, this is not the end all be all live stream camera. I'm just sharing what has worked well for us. Hopefully other people can get some value out of that and apply it to their own situations and make the best decision for their church. So with that being said, I want to break down our thought process for picking the right camera body and brand to invest in for our church live stream camera setup. Really, it came down to how many cameras we wanted to have running at one time. We could invest $1,000, $1,500 into one or two cameras and then only have those two cameras. Or for our budget, we could say, let's invest $500 or less ideally and get three, four, five or more cameras and have a lot more angles to choose from and a lot more variation in our shots. And that's the option that we wanted to go with even at the expense of camera features and even image quality to some extent. We also didn't wanna spend a lot of money on these cameras because we wanted them to only be used for live streaming. We didn't wanna have set up and tear down every single week for our live stream cameras. And then on top of that, if you wanted during a service photos or videos for social media or your website, then you'd have to sacrifice one of those camera angles in order to have someone go take those photos or take those videos. So with having to buy multiple live stream cameras and then have other cameras dedicated for photos and videos during the week and for you know b-roll and stuff for a service we didn't want to spend a lot of money on these particular live stream cameras but we still wanted a great image quality and i would say that was the most important factor for this great image quality at a low affordable price they have a good image quality not great but pretty good especially if you have a lot of light to work with you can get a good image out of these and then the price great used go to ebay don't buy these new go to ebay and search for them you can find them under 300 dollars. we bought one of these for like 250 if you search well enough you can find a good deal on these so the image quality is pretty good the price is pretty good and then all the stuff that it doesn't have we just realize we don't need it for our live streams. We don't need IBIS. We don't need autofocus. We don't need good low light necessarily. And we don't need slow motion. So all of those things that it really doesn't do, we just didn't need. We just wanted a pretty good image and a good deal. <laughs> That's what it comes down to with this camera. On top of that, the lenses are affordable as well. Like the 12 to 35, the 35 to 100, and then the 14 millimeter, you can all find these used on eBay and get a good deal on them. But still, if you wanted to go even cheaper than that, you can adapt the Canon FD lenses, those old film lenses to these. And we even still do that for one of our cameras. We have like a 135 Canon FD lens. Um, but we used to use three or four of those Canon FD lenses when we first started getting these cameras before we picked up some of the other Panasonic lenses. And those are like, you know, 50 bucks on eBay. So you can go really cheap with the lenses for these cameras too, which was a huge plus. And of course, if you are using these for your live stream, go ahead and put the dummy battery in there. You don't have to worry about battery life. So that is our small church camera live stream setup. Again, this is what works for us might not work for everyone, but I wanted to share what we're using and hopefully this is interesting to some, helpful for others, and at the very least entertaining, right? Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what camera you are using for your church live streams. I'd love to see what everyone else is using. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.